All right, I just left the bins, the Goodwill bins, and I'm right around the corner because I told you it's connected to uh, the store. So I'm on my way to Goodwill store to see what they have in here. So I'm trying to be surprised. So hopefully they have some good things in there. So, yeah, so I enter the store. Um, it's only two places I usually go. I either go to the jewelry first or I go check out the purses. So I, so I see that I went and check out the purses first. And I don't know if you saw that lady basket, but she had a whole lot of purses in there. So the chance of me finding a good bag or something like that is, was probably slim to none. Because that, again, I went um, after 5.30, it must have been about six o'clock. This Goodwill closes at 9 p.m. So I know at 6.30, 7 o'clock, there's not gonna be much in there. They're not putting nothing else out. Maybe a few clothing, but nothing too big, you know? So I'm just looking at the purses, just trying to hope and pray that it's something over there that that I want, that's worth something, you know? So, yeah, I think I looked at that um, that bag and decided, no, <laughs> it wasn't worth it, you know? Because everything in the store, um, you have to check the prices because, you know, Goodwill know that people are reselling, they know people want items, they know more people are going to thrift stores. So what do you think they do? They raise the prices up, you know? They regular teach some of these shirts, you saw the price, right? $7.99 for a shirt, look, $9.99. You know, so I think the color was orange, I believe, I'm not quite sure, but they always have a color that's half price. And even though this half price, you know, you're looking at um, a t-shirt for $7.99, that's half price would be $4, and that's only a certain color. And some, that's really a t-shirt, please. Come on now, you guys, you can get almost a pack for $12 at Walmart, you know? Maybe not anymore, you know, but anyway. So I'm just taking a glance at the books, seeing what I see. Usually I don't look at books, but every now and then I just go see what do they have. People, you know, we still read, okay? And I'm looking at T.D. Jakes and his daughter um, write a book, wrote a book uh, years ago. So, but I'm not quite sure how much the books are because I didn't kept capture that. Because most of the time, usually I don't really look at the books. But they have a big selection of books, especially children books. Um, yeah, n no certain order. You know, kids coming here, or uh, I guess resellers coming here, and they start digging through all kinds of stuff. And you know, most people don't, they don't straighten up what they mess up anyway, you know, so. Yeah, now I am at the, I was looking for some Christmas supplies. Yeah, nothing. Mm -mm. I'm looking for some vintage Christmas ornaments or something. I didn't really see anything. Didn't see much. They didn't have that many, that much of Christmas items that was out. So I'm not quite sure if somebody bought them all or they just didn't have any or they maybe they're not putting it out, you know? So. I'm just still glancing, just trying to see, going to each one, you know, doing a double take. And yeah, I picked that up, so I probably didn't get it. If I didn't get something, it's, because, it's probably because I thought it was too expensive for me to get. You know, I'm not gonna buy something that I, that I think is not worth it, or it's just too expensive. Just because all the prices are going above everything doesn't mean Goodwill has to go up their prices, you know. Don't they get this stuff for free? You know, I can't seem to understand that. It's not like the middleman is raising up the price on everything. They get this stuff for free, you know? So why are you guys, and not just them, all the other ones. You have Savage Army. A lot of thrift stores get these items. Most thrift stores, all thrift stores to me, get these items for free. But I'm just trying to understand why you're raising the price up, you know, so much. You know, but anyway, I know you got to keep up with demand. But y'all, check this out. I've never seen... Goodwill, this Goodwill here, with so much stuff. Look at this. This not just this aisle here, not just the kids aisle. Every shelf, even a bottom shelf, you got. They had so much overflowing with toys, with everything. Till they had, they had literally put stuff on the floor, you guys. And also too, it could be that these, um, maybe these kids playing with the toys, you know. But look at all those toys. I mean, just it was overflowing with toys. I mean, toys galore, you know, um, big toys. There's some nice toys there. Somebody could really rack up uh, if they had a daughter or a young child, 
for Christmas. I mean, they had some Barbie stuff, uh, big doll house. They had a lot of good items that I saw, you know, in there. You know, I mean, big items. I'm talking about somebody could have fun all day long in their room. They had a little girl. They could actually have fun all day long playing house or whatever because they had some good toys. They had some educational toys. Um, they had a lot of dolls. They had a few trucks. They had some toys for um, boys, too. Um, that wasn't bad. That was 272 because a lot of times those 12-inch um, Spider-Mans or whatever, they usually go for $5, 4 95 most of the time at Goodwill. So to see something 292 that's not bad. I did get that. I think she let me have that for a dollar because it didn't have a tag on there. But she said, I'll let you have this for a dollar. That was good. So I collected that. Yes, I did. So, yeah, so now I'm just kind of glancing and looking and just going from shelf to shelf because they had so much stuff, you guys, till I had to move stuff over just to dig underneath it. I mean, there was it was loaded with stuff. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at look at all them stuffed animals. I'm talking about that four, I think it's four shelves at every last shelf was stuff. There's so much stuffed animals. Come on, you guys. I mean, I know. I know I've been complaining that y'all don't have anything in the store, but goodness gracious, y'all have to put them so much till they on the floor. Now, if you some of that stuff, animals and that stuff, that that's how that stuff eventually goes to behind them, which is the Dallas bins. You know, there's no way possible they're gonna sell all those stuffed animals because I've seen some stuffed animals there that I didn't saw a month ago. You know, that's the same stuffed animals that's been there. So I know eventually. They're going to take a lot of that stuff, even toys, and they're going to bring that to Dallas Benz, which is behind it. Yeah, I looked at that because, you know, my grandbaby, like Park, Park, Park Patrol or wherever the world. So, yeah, uh-huh, I sure did. I always look at stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm looking at a train set. That, that wasn't bad. $5 for that train set, that was a good deal. You know, you think about a lot of times, too, you know, I say all the time, Goodwill can't catch everything. None of, none of the thrift stores can. Sometimes they let stuff just slip, you know, that you know it's worth more than that, you know. What they charging high for shouldn't be. So what they charging low for probably should be worth a little bit more, but I'm not going to tell them nothing if you guys don't either, you know. So, yeah. So they have some good, they have pretty good toys in there. And uh, the toys to me, I don't think is bad prices. Some, some of them are, look, look, look at this, big old, I think I picked up that, um, oh, yeah, I got that little toy, because I, I thought it was cute, and she let me have that for a dollar, so I, I picked that up, too, but they, I mean, you used to see some of them super-sized toys, you guys, they had some, I call them super-sized toys, yeah, and that, that was four sixty four. dollars mm, maybe that's not bad, I guess, you know, um, you just have to look. They had enough toys there that you could actually look. You would, I'm telling you, you would find something. You would find something for boys, for girls, for your preschooler. You had uh, electronics, learning electronics. I mean, they was there. I'm talking about either somebody had a whole lot of garage sales and they was getting rid of that stuff, or they just said, or they just went in the back. People went in the back and told them workers, look, we need to put this stuff out here. We're tired of having these empty shelves. <laughs> We're tired of having these empty shelves. We need to stack up, bring stuff out here, and let's just load it up. And that's exactly what they done. They worked all day that day, and they brought stuff out so much. So when I got there, it was just overflowing. Maybe that's why the Goodwill Biz didn't have too much behind the store because this, the store to the front, had everything in there. I mean, just downright pack in there. They were just loaded with toys. I mean, a lot, a lot, a lot of toys. What are purses that come on? If I do this video, y'all gonna put some purses out there? <laughs> you know? Let me see some name brand purses, you know? But, you know, and I think I talked to someone. They told me that they used to put like the purses uh, early in the morning. And I found something else out, you guys. Like the name brand purses, anything with a name, they, uh, if they catch it, they send it to corporate, which is, that's the ones that do the, you have the uh, Goodwill fines, and then you have that uh, blue box, and then I think it's another one. That's why you never, you, well, this is the only Goodwill here that has jewelry. All other Goodwill, wheels they have, you mean they have to send things out 
out to them to the corporate office or to the and that's where they ship stuff at. If you buy something on Goodwill Bins, I mean Goodwill um finds or the blue box, that's where that stuff comes from. So they, they try not to put out name brand purses, but sometimes it slip and they put it out. Or if you know somebody that works there, you might, do you have any purses in the back? Uh not this goodwill, but another goodwill. And then you gotta get to know people and they like, oh, I got a purse for you, then go get it for you. Cause I think their purses is I want to say that all stores are different. All stores are different because this store here, their shirts, their shirts here, their T-shirts, this store and another store in the um, the urban Texas area, their T-shirts are expensive, like $7.99. But the Goodwill in Arlington, like the Goodwill I go to in Arlington, their T-shirts is like $2.29. But, of course, you know, um, I guess it's different areas, price different. So, but... They toys, like the toys here, this is the only place I know have as much toys as they do, you know. Even on their bad days, they still have more toys than most stores have, most, most Goodwills have, you know. So, yeah, I'm just looking around. They do have some new things in there, too. Um, besides the little two pieces I got, I don't think I got anything else. I don't think I got anything else in that store. So, yeah, I'm looking at um, the appliances. Come on now, Goodwill. What, what we got? What we have? Oh, Goodwill, the bottom shelf. <laughs> Goodwill, come on now. Take care of that bottom shelf now. Yeah, I think, I'm, I want to say they did nothing lights for your home, for your car. Look how much it was, $19.91. Come on now. Y'all stop. And now one of them was open pack. You're going to charge $19.91 for a brand new pack and an open pack of some kind of lights? Come on now. So I'm glancing, oh, oh, Goodwill. The shelves, Goodwill, y'all was doing good with the toys. The shelf's kind of bare. But that, sh that, that shelf is bare now. Okay, it's kind of full right there. Okay, you got it. You, you're doing pretty good, Goodwill. You're doing pretty good right there. Okay. Close them, close them gaps up, though. Okay, let's look at it. Okay. All right, bottom shelf. Okay. <laughs> okay, bottom shelf. Look at Goodwill. Filling those shelves up. Yeah, y'all must have had a full staff that day. Yeah. I still got some little room there, good where you could slide that stuff over at the bottom. And you could add some more dishes. But overall, I'm very impressed with Goodwill. I'm very impressed. Look at that. I mean, just everywhere. Let me just turn around. Let me see. Oh, yes. Come on now, Goodwill. Okay, Goodwill with your bad self. Oh, good. Okay, Goodwill. Let me look at that bottom shelf. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's make two weeks straight in a row. Goodwill, bottom shelf looked it pretty good. Goodwill, I see some gaps now. Let's fill it up. Let's fill it up now. But you know what? It's not that often I go to Goodwill. Yeah, I get there late in the evening or whatever. But not often I go to Goodwill and I see baskets. I like to see them rolling out baskets, you know. Some stores let you, like when they roll them out, they want you to go ahead and dig and grab because that's less stuff they have to put out, you know. So they want you to take as much as possible. So that's one good thing about Goodwill. They let you, when they roll the baskets out, it's for you to dig, to get whatever you want to get out that basket. But other stores like Thrift Giant and Texas Thrift, when they put out a basket, you're not allowed to touch that basket until they put it out. I'm telling you, some of them take their time putting it out. It's like they, they know you're waiting on them, and they just take their time putting it out. I'm like, ma'am, are you going to put that out soon? And then, then they act like, Mm. Anyway, but anyway, so yeah, so some of them don't even want to put stuff out or don't want you to dig in there until they put it out. So, but one thing I like about Goodwill, Goodwill, they welcome you. Come on and dig. Come help me put this, take this stuff so I there's less stuff I have to put up on these shelves. So yeah, I, I like them. So that was a, a nice little um, thing. You put, of course, they say the word stuff. You put stuff in it. Um, it was ceramic. Nice. Thick, heavy, and that's what I look for when I go in there. If I'm if I'm in that area, um, and I'm looking for whatnots. I look for something that's heavy, something that I think is worth something, you know. So I'm just over here. I'm looking at toys, some more toys. That's that's the over. I call this the overflow section. This is the stuff that they don't have no other place to put. So they're like, okay, let's just throw this shit right in. Here. <laughs> we just gonna put this right here. Underneath this big table here, that's good. Then we're going to stack some stuff on top, and we're going to stack some stuff underneath the bottom. 
this is a good place to put the overflow. Yeah. That's what that is. So I'm just still looking. Hmm, what is that? Oh, Goodwill. That shelf is it's Goodwill. Goodwill. That shelf is empty now. <laughs> Come on, now y'all doing good. You, I mean, you did good. A lot of things. I'm not gonna knock you. I'm not gonna knock you because you know what? You've been doing pretty good for the past two weeks. You've been doing great. So I'm gonna keep on. I'm gonna support you, Goodwill, because I know one day it's gonna be even more. Then bottom shelf's gonna be even more full with good stuff waiting for me. I have faith in you, Goodwill in Dallas. But anyway, y'all check this out. I know, right? I almost bought that, but shit, my grandbaby, God, I would scare him half to death. Uh-uh, no. Didn't he? Look at that. I put both of them together. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. And then it had, you put batteries in it. That was like, a, I think when I say, they have $3.93 for both of them. I, I almost got one. I'm like, what are you doing with that? You're going to scare the, the, the shit out your grandchild, and then you might scare me, you know? And then you can put batteries in there or whatever, but no, I decided not to. So I'm left. The right here was kind of bare, but that's okay because look, look, Goodwill, fill it up to the right. Okay, Goodwill. What's that I've grabbed? I'm not sure. I'm just grabbing. I'm just picking up everything, and I'll probably go there tomorrow because usually when I work uh, two days at the office, um, Thursday and Friday, I try to go. I, one day I'll go to Goodwill in um, – in Irving, and the next day, I'll, next time I'll go to the Goodwill in Dallas, you know. So I'm not quite sure which one I'll go to for tomorrow. I don't know, but I might hit that, hit the one in um in um, in Irving maybe because I haven't been to that one in a while. So I might go to that one just to see what they have. It all depends. Or I might go to the one by the house. I mean, the one on my way home from work. So now I'm just looking at the clothes, just walking. Nah. Cause them prices are scary, you guys. The prices to me are real scary. You know, we look at a, a shirt, certain shirt, seven ninety nine, and then, uh, oh my God, for the dresses, I think eight nine ninety nine. Yeah, that's about as much as a shirt. I gotta get a dress and a shirt. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of looking. I really don't want to go through little clothes. I think I got enough t-shirts, um, enough clothes now. So I uh, yeah uh, now I decide what well, I decide I need a basket now okay yeah I decide I want to get a basket and that's what I decided I would do so I have my little things in there not that much as you can tell basket is not full but I have something heavy and I didn't want to break it not quite sure what I had though so I'm just glancing at the shirts mm. that's all I am is glancing. And I ain't going to be here for long because I'm excited. I'm, it's time for me to check out. I'm going to go look down it all, and then I'm going to turn my tail right back around. Now I'm walking out the door. <laughs> you know, I got my little pieces. I think I might have spent about $5, and I am through. Oh, what I spent? Yep, two something, look like. So uh, now I'm walking out. I'm going to my car. It was an okay day for Goodwill. I didn't spend a lot of money, so I'm feeling real good. And I'm going to go on home and call it a day. So that was real quick, easy. Um, now, don't, I don't like to spend a lot of money a lot of times. So I spent a little money, felt real good. Um, I'm going to go through my things. I'm going home. It's hot. It's over 100 degrees. This is it. Goodbye, you guys.